Jess, another big game for you tonight. I guess what was kind of clicking for you? What was working for you in the paint? Um, Coach McCray, she's been a real – She's been on me about being patient in the paint, just slowing down, reading defense. So I feel like my teammates got me the ball a lot, so I just read the defense and did what they gave me. And just in terms of your game, I mean, where do you feel like you've progressed from like this time last year to now? And, and how much do you feel like you're able to kind of shoulder a little bit more of that offensive load maybe? I think I've slowed down a lot more, and I feel like I'm not always depending on my fadeaway, so I feel like that's a place. But I feel like I have to work on my free throws because I'm getting an and ones, but I'm not finishing my free throws. Up next, we'll go to Joel Coleman. Jess, I guess just from your vantage point, how ready are you guys with SEC play now? Uh, that's, that's coming up. That's next. Uh, just what, where do you feel like you, you guys are? Um, I feel like we're ready. There's still stuff that we have to work on, which is okay. But I feel like we're ready for anybody. So, yeah. Uh, we'll go back to Ben. Jess, and if you guys, your guys' turnover numbers have been a little bit higher than maybe you guys would like. I guess, how do you guys kind of go about addressing that, and especially as you get into you know, SEC play and, and playing some maybe tough teams? Um, I feel like we just got to slow down and be more patient. I feel like that's just our biggest problem right now. Is it a matter of like, I mean, I know Coach McCray likes to go fast. Do you feel like it's a matter of just getting into the flow a little bit better? Yeah, that's all. Uh, biggest thing, thankful for the win. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, we'll go straight to questions. Uh, first, we'll go to Ben Portnoy. And Nikki, I think tonight was, again, another night with double-digit turnovers. I guess, how, how do you kind of address that? And what, what's kind of the, the process in terms of, you know, getting, getting your team into the flow and obviously going fast but also being under control? That's just a mental focus. Um, that's all it is. Um, I think we had lapses um, in the second half that just – wasn't very wasn't very good um you know a team that's you know they I mean they're small um but it wasn't anything that they did it was just us I mean just a lack of focus and really taking care of the ball uh I mean that's all it was you just got to get better at it up next we'll go to Joel Coleman couple games in a row now Nikki we're, we're just just kind of played really well and kind of kind of helped carry you guys a little bit just Evaluating her game, uh, just how important is it for her to do things like I don't know if you can count on twenty nine fifteen every night, but just when she's like that, how big of a benefit is that to you guys? I think it just shows how dangerous we can be. Um, whatever game it was, they packed it in and we shot the ball extremely well. You know, from the three, um, this game they kind of pressured us a little bit, a little bit on the perimeter. Um, you know, she was able to score on the inside. I mean, it's good when you have a player that can really, you know, dominate the inside uh, for us. You know, I like to play inside out basketball. So I was really, it's really good to see her playing well going into SEC play. Up next, we'll go to Chris Bolton. Hey, Nikki, when we talked mm -hmm. Friday and I asked you about what you want to see from your team going into conference play, you mentioned the defense. Um, do you think this kind of effort that you saw, especially in the second quarter, is what you wanted to see from your team? I thought I saw glimpses. The first quarter, I mean, we held them to four points one quarter. That was us. Um, I thought Mingo did a really good job of defending, um, staying in the play, just really playing hard. Um, we saw glimpses. Uh, we had a goal. We did not reach our goal. Um, but we fouled entirely too much. That's one thing that I addressed with this team. We have got to stop fouling. Um, you know, and I know we have some personal things where we don't want our man to score and we want to pressure, but we have to pressure without fouling. And we fouled 20 times, and um, they were they were at the line, and we cannot have a team like this go to the free throw line. They were 22 for 24 from the free throw line. That's how they scored half of their points. Up next, we'll go to Ben Portnoy. I know you guys aren't going to shoot the ball the lights out like you did the other night every night, but in terms of stepping off the bus and, and knocking down some shots, I think you guys were like one or seven, one of seven to start, or maybe three of ten to start. What, what goes into maybe hitting a few more of those early shots and getting in a rhythm, you know, in that first minute, two, three minutes, and getting going? I think the biggest thing that I've said is if you're missing one or two, then do something different. I mean, we miss layups. Again, you know, got good shots, but it's the layups that really sucks the energy out of you, and you're like, ugh. You know, and then you start to lose your confidence personally. Um, and you just got to you got to see it go through the net, you know, and you got to forget about it and just move on to the next one. That's a personal thing. Um, but, you know, I talked to our team about being efficient. I want players that are going to make shots and make the shots that they take 
consistently, and we didn't do that tonight. I mean, it wasn't so much them. I think it was a lack of focus on our part. And, and just in terms of that, as a quick follow up, obviously you've got a young bunch for the most part. I mean, well, how much of this is kind of just a feeling out process, and how important are these non conference games, you know, to, to get you ready for SEC play now in a couple of weeks? I mean, I think it's good. It gave, gave us a chance to be able to see combinations and things like that, and who's going to be on the floor. Um, what your bench is going to look like. Um, it allowed me to play a lot of people, um, you know, which obviously, you know, our bench will be shortened when it gets to conference play. So um, hopefully players got some confidence, you know, to see what they can and can't do. It, it You know, we, we can see what players can and can't do. But um, it's just about being disciplined, you know, who is, who is doing the things that we're asking them to do, who's being efficient on both ends of the floor. We'll go back to Joel. I guess it's one of those deals, Nikki, where ready or not, it's coming. But uh, SEC play will be the next time you, you, you guys are on with this. Uh -huh. How confident are you, I guess, that, that you, you all are ready? I think it's one day at a time. It's one practice at a time. You know, that's that's us. I mean, there's some things that we have to continue to do and get better. I mean, if we defend and we rebound, you know, I think we'll be in a position to win games, you know, because, you know, we're, we're talented enough to do that. If we don't, we won't. You know, we, we have to have the effort and the energy um, every possession. Um, this league is very tough. It's very physical. And, um, you know, you can't make a lot of mistakes. You know, you got to take care of the basketball. All right, we'll wrap things up with Ben Portnoy. Thank you guys got another long layoff now. What's kind of the plan between now and, and starting a conference play? And then uh, I guess also is uh, one more quick question. Just is Aria still on track to, to start up hopefully in January as well? Yeah, I think the plan is for us to uh, decompress, go home, enjoy our family, still be safe, um, and come back, you know, with the right mindset. That's what I talked to him about, you know, coming back with a different mindset, you know, hearts in the right place, um, you know, first and foremost. Um, you know, and just being ready to compete, you know, for 40 minutes. Um, and then just having the right attitude. Um, and then as far as Zaria, you know, again, it's day to day with her. And, you know, when we get to go and I get to go that says she's ready to go, we'll be ready to go with her. But it'll be good, hopefully, to have another body with some experience in SEC play.